problem I have <laughs> it's always very hard for me to <laughs> know road I don't know if there's anyone out there that is like me in knowing places please let me know because no matter how hard I try to know where I stopped or where I'm coming from it's never same for me like I think I have this I don't know I won't say I'm not smart enough I am but I don't know what to call it if it's laziness or he's just refusing to know the road where to go or should I say the building hello this is me in uh, Dublin um, it's been so stressful I don't know my makeup is weird off as you can see I've been off and on the way I don't know I don't know oh where am I by the way I seem to be lost again today what the hell hi I'm HOB Helen Overkan that's my name actually if you have not known me or you've not met me before or you've not been watching my video this is an opportunity for you to really watch my video. I will reintroduce myself again. Uh, my name is Helen Overkan. That H is for Helen. The O is for Overkan and B Overkan. So that's me, H-O-B. I'm a YouTuber. At the same time, I'm a mom. About family I, issues. I do celebration, kids celebration. I do some kind of dancing and a lot. Today is something different entirely. I'm going to give you my experience of how I actually got lost in a big city in Dublin. But I was actually, some people might think it's a big city, while others might think it's a small city. Whatever way you think it is, where that's your own opinion. But it's just my own I'm going to tell you about. But I'm happy at the end of the day, what I went for, for was good and I was able to accomplish my mission. So you stay tuned. Please watch this to the end. It might be an experience that you will also want to learn from. It might be an experience for you to just for you to know that nobody is above it in life. Some people can get lost. Why others, it can be easy finding their ways. But for me, it was such an experience and it really happened life. Uh, today I got a ride here, yeah, but the other time I came, there was no ride and that was it. So thank you, you stay on, thanks for watching, tune on to now, watch my videos and like them too, H-O-B. Yes, I don't know, uh, what should I say, how people have come across both kind people acting as angels to help. I came across an angel today she was honestly very nice and that made me to think of myself <laughs> I'm not an angel though I'm just saying this she was actually very very nice this girl I came across I was going somewhere I I missed my way she took it upon herself she left where she was going because um, where she was going was very close anyway she took it upon herself to even walk me down walk me down to where I was going and I was quite impressed and that saved a lot of time for me that saved a lot of energy for me I don't know this lady I think she's an uh, Asian origin or so I've not met her before I've not spoken to her or had any contact with her but the kindness is one thing that I cannot explain that's what I would say. Some people are generally very kind in helping people do things. I decided to sit. I decided to sit to do continue with this vlog. What I mean is that there are some people that are just like angels, guiding angels. Sometimes you need something in life and you find people that you don't even know doing things for you. They just come a, a, along your way and solve your problems and make things work out great for you. I'm saying this because um, I have to pass a message across. I really do have to pass this message across 
I don't know if you have helped someone of any origin before. Either the person is from the same country as you or anybody at all. If you have, let me know. Let me know. I really want to know how, how did the person feel? Or have you been helped in one way or the other before? Maybe in locating a place, not only locating a place or helped when you were in problem or helped sometimes when you really think there's no hope anymore for you and somewhere along the line you just get someone coming to really really say oh here I am um, I can help I can assist you it can be very very tough sometimes especially when you go to a place you don't know the place where you are and you are looking for assistance maybe someone to talk to you because of what is really happening in our society these days people don't tend to listen some just walk away even when they know you really do need help they just walk and some before they get closer to you they start waving their hands like oh no 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 some even go as far as saying it can be very very tough sometimes especially when you go to a place you don't know the place where you are and you are looking for assistance maybe someone to talk to you because of what is really happening in our society these days, people don't tend to listen. Some just walk away, even when they know you really do need help. They just walk and some, before they get closer to you, they start waving their hands like, oh, no, 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 no. Some even go as far as saying, English, English. <laughs> so you don't, you don't start asking them questions. I've seen a lot of people like that. If you're among those people that do similar things, let me know uh, if you don't really like to help people or you don't really like to help people, you have helped people severally before, one way or the other. Also let me know. But I will tell you something. Sometimes, or rather most times, I go extra length to help people. People I don't know before. Why I do this is not just for me, it makes me happy makes me really happy to know that if I'm in a position to assist not in terms of financial assistance anyway to really help maybe assist people in locating where they are doing or like all my life I've been working like a, as a customer service person having to deal with people daily and not only that personally I I'm the talking type. I like to talk. I like to know where I can assist. I like to know where I can help. So if you are anywhere today and you have come across people that you have helped in the past and you are still helping, I want to use the opportunity to tell you there's nothing wrong in helping people. There's nothing wrong in assisting people. There's nothing wrong in really talking to people, in really taking your time to know who is out there and talk to them. Because some people can really be in distress. I will make an instance with the old people now, for example. There are some old people that are very lonely. They really need to talk to people. You can come across such people daily. They just walk out of their house. They go somewhere. By the time they get to town or in the shops where they are shopping and they finish shopping and they see you and they know that you have engaged you are engaged with them in talking. They really don't want to leave you. They just keep talking and talking because they are happy. They feel they are safe. They have someone to talk to them. They have someone to share some of their daily uh, experiences too. It really helps. There was an old man we met a few days ago. We met this old man. We were really looking for a place where other people were, I think they, they had uh, something going on. We didn't really know our way. We met this old man. He was really, really good. He just kept describing, even though there were other younger men and women there, they were also describing, but this old man overshadowed them. He described the place even more than the younger ones, and um, it really helped. Because at the end of the day, we were happy that we got someone who could really, really help. And um, it was happy. We were happy too. So I will say to you, if you are that kind of person that like assisting people, don't stop. It's always good because 
there are blessings that comes with this that you might not know sometimes you may be in a position where you need people to help you to or assist you there's always a guiding angel God will send you know for you so don't always be shy don't always be reluctant to talk to people we have different gifts out there that we don't even know that we have you can have the gifts of listening and you can also have that gift to advise people so if you have a friend or you have a neighbor or you have somebody you feel really need to be talked to in one way or the other I will use this opportunity to tell you uh, don't be shy uh, relieve yourself because by the time you relieve yourself you are relieving the other person of the pains they might be having in their own heart and always give listening ears to people because it doesn't cost anything for us to listen it doesn't cost anything for us to even like share what I mean by share we can share kindness <laughs> we shouldn't be selfish to keep the kindness to ourselves because we don't we don't know tomorrow we don't know what god have in store for us that's what i have to say now because i was lost and uh, i found somebody who assisted me who helped me this thing has happened to me even when there was i was i was at work one day coming home there was a day i was i was coming home i met a lady who needed help i went off my way to assist this lady I brought her far away to where she was going and she was very grateful she kept thanking me I didn't know the reason I met several ladies like that not one not two the last one I met was a very young girl I really uh, uh, assisted her because she was completely lost I assisted her and the next thing she told me was I know how it is to get somebody to really assist so if you are somewhere today and you really have the urge to assist anybody, either in terms of direction where they are going or in terms of anything like advice you want to render, feel free. This is me, HOB, talking from my heart. I'm just saying this from my heart because there are things you do, you don't even know you do them. You know, uh, kindness is there. Kindness is beautiful. Kindness is beautiful. It cannot be purchased with any amount of money. That's my belief. You don't have to show people that you are a kind person. This is me. I'm kind because I'm kind. No. You just do what you do and you don't even realize you do them. So that's all I have to say.